فالفا الكانسر باي رامي محمد المنور There are two types either pre-invasive or invasive. The pre-invasive is called intra-epithelial valve neoplasia. It is a cellular abnormality linked to the epithelium of the valvular skin. The cancer cells are restricted by the basement membrane and don't spread to the blood. Classified into three: valvular endothelial one, valvular endothelial two, valvular intra-epithelial neoplasia grade three. In grade one. The cellular abnormality is minor, limited to the basal layer and involving the lower one third of the vulval endothelium. Vulval intraepithelial neoplasia grade two. The cellular abnormality extends to the lower two third of the vulval endothelium and involves the basal as well as the intermediate layer. And it is often associated with hemoglobin virus infection. Vulval intraepithelial grade three. The entire thickness of the epithelial layer should cellular abnormality but there is no vascular or lymphatic involvement and the basement membrane is intact clinical features hmm. patient may complaining of pruritus soreness dysuria dyspareunia or abnormal discharge on examination may be white or red flat warty or babular lesions single or multiple was well defined. For diagnosis, we can use a colposcope or OG biopsy, and according to the grade of valvular interaction, we can proceed. Investigations as bunch of biopsy, colposcope, inoscope, and according to the grade, we can proceed either surgical or cryotherapy or coagulation or laser or chemotherapy using olfactory A surgical treatment we can use white local excision, removing the tumor at the blast septum margin or simple valvectomy or partial valvectomy. Also we can use laser vaporization. While the invasive one is called invasive vulval carcinoma. Instance, it is this lesion is rare, about 1.7 per 100,000 females. The distribution varies from 3 to 5 percent among female genital. In person, with a woman with a minimum age of 60 years, women are one, uh, more common among watch. Also, increased the association with obesity, hypertension, diabetes, and maladies. Also, vulval epithelial disorder, as we saw, vulval epithelial disorder, as we told you before, or human virus infection, 16 and 18 times. Also, chronic pruritus usually proceeds in phase of vulval carcinoma, or chronic irritation of the vulva by chemicals or physical trauma associated with poor hygiene may be a predisposing factor. And the common sites for uh, vulval carcinoma is the Libya majora, full by clitoris, and Libya minora. And two to are commonly affected than the lower one, the posterior one. So, by neck to eye, we can see ulcer type or hypertrophic type. The features are less diverted edges in the pubic row and the blue space, while hypertrophic overlangs can be intact or with ulcers sooner or later. Or we can see also on the dupe. A spread of this carcinoma may be direct to the middle, the middle occurs to the urethra, vagina, rectum, and even to the middle bones, as this progress other sites in the vulva may be may develop new or lymphatic. It is the commonest method of spread of infection, as it is carcinoma. Lymph nodes involvement follows a sequential pattern. Lymph nodes of Libya go to superficial and join lymph nodes and deep join lymph nodes. Also, uh, superficial femoral, deep, femoral and deep femoral lymph nodes going to pelvic veins. While hematogenous also, this is rare but may occur in advanced case or implantation as casing ulcers. If a uh, ulcer in one side of the libia may be due to the side close to others, direct implantation making a casing ulcer. A clinical features the patient to profile patient on usual post proposal about 60 years or over with obesity, hypertension, or diabetes. Patient may complain of maybe asymptomatic also, maybe virus vulva, swelling with or without offensive discharge, difficult dysuria, vulval ulcerations, bleeding, inguinal mass, or pain. 
while an examination valve inspection reveals an ulcer or truncating mass on the vulva, the ulcer has a sloughing base with raised abrupt edges, necrotic floor, and diluted base. A some of the may be edematous or unburied. Also, when it feels of one or both files may be enlarged and bulbous, the enlargement may be also due to infection. On clinical examination of the pelvic organs, including the cervix, the vagina, or the rectum, may be done is due to coexistence of primary cancers in the genital tract. Uh, diagnosis: Any valve lesion, one to biopsy, must be wood biopsy, bunch biopsy, colposcope, cervical, uh, vaginal examination. A diagnosis: Diagnosed by when there is a cancer, you can proceed for investigations of all the body. All the body should do investigations for the primary cancer and also for the spread of the cancer. A diagnosis is confirmed by a biopsy. When a definite growth is present, biopsy is, should be taken from the margin. We can also can use a cystoscope, bronchoscope, CT or MRI scan for moles may be needed. Also for the brain, a lung, a bone and the liver. If it, is, if it is, if it has advanced case and has advanced uh, distant metastasis. Again, the stage limited the valve with the diameter more than two centimeters and no ongoing lymph nodes affection. In stage 3, tumor of any size is spread to the urethra, vagina, anus, plus or minus unilateral lymph node metastasis. However, stage 4 may be classified into A and B. A involvement of upper urethra, bladder mucosa, rectal mucosa, pelvic bones, bilateral lymph node metastasis, while stage 4B, distant metastasis or pelvic nodes. Those are uh, distant entities or pelvic nodes and or pelvic nodes. Also, there is TNM classification according to tumor when regression lymph nodes and distant entities. TNM. This is another criteria for invasion. 1A and B. Two, three, and four. A treatment of vulval carcinoma according to the stage. If it is at stage one A, a micro invasion, wide local excision lead up to the dermis. While if it is one B and two, early vulval cancer, radical local excision plus epithelial groin node dissection. While stage 2 involving adjacent structures, radical vulvectomy or radical local excision plus lymph node dissection. While advanced cases, surgery plus radiotherapy plus concomitant chemotherapy. While stage 3 and 4, according to the general health, chemotherapy will serve to shrink the tumor to permit surgery that may be preserved as a urethra and in a selected function. Radical vulvectomy, ongoing lymph node dissection, reconstructive surgery with skin grafts or myoclonus collapse for healing. Clinically advanced nodes, debulking of these nodes and plus or minus chemotherapy, basically, this is, uh, there is palliative medication. And thank you.